Who have been very, very solid today in defence. Gets a good clearance on it now. Dropping in towards James Hennessy there and Darren Fahey. Darren Fahey has the ball locked away from there. Pulled on first time. Well, uh, pulled in more or less by fresh air there by Kieran Reid. Quickly back in towards the full forward there. Malachny has it now. Raymond Lockney over his, over his shoulder. Strikes it in. And it's gone. Well, it's gone for a 65, they say. I don't know. It must have been... Well, it's hard to know if it could have been a 65 from that distance. However, the umpire has his fingers up and it's going to be... Uh, uh, the referee... Yes, the referee is uh, happy enough about it. It's going to be a 65. And Dre McLaughlin comes out to take this 65 and it's almost dead straight in front of the goal. And he got one just coming up to half time. Will he be... As accurate again, as we come just 34, 34 and a half minutes, over 34 and a half minutes gone, or, or just over four and a half minutes gone in the second half. Nice strike, a bit more solid this time. The ball goes straight over the bar. Nice work there by Malachny. And that puts the killer one man further in front now. It's 1 8 to 6 points. They just seem to be holding on to this four or five point lead all the time as the puck out comes straight out there from Colin O'Sullivan. Oh, knocked the head further there and going back into this Paul Diffley. Paul Diffley has it towards, in towards his full forward. The full forward has it and it's with Hannon. Hannon is trying to get right through. He's been surrounded by three men. Chance here. Chance of a goal. That's a goal. Oh, a lovely just as I spoke of it. And a splendid shot to the back of the onion sack there by Dwayne Fogarty. Dwayne Fogarty. After O'Hanlon had done all the spade work and drawn the player, the, the opposition, they flicked it out neatly to Fogarty and he didn't ask twice as he crashed it to the back of the onion sack, giving goalkeeper Jerk Harkman absolutely no chance in the goal. Now we have a real game, 1-8 to 1-6. Just on the six minutes gone in the second half, Alan Sullivan goes up for this one, being tackled by three killer one men. Well, Players everywhere now in a, in, but oh, a wild kind of a pull there, and the referee is going to call him ashore for a moment or two. I think it's, it may be Alan P. Ryan. He's going to have a little yellow for this. So, game down to two points now. After just I'd say that uh, Gilroy seem to be holding on to this four or five point lead, but not no more. Free to kill one inside their own 65 meter line. Seamus Hennessy is going to be the taker of this. And the yellow is flashed there at uh, Alan P. Ryan. It's the first yellow of the afternoon. Now, Seamus Hennessy, can he, can he manage to erase some of that goal or will he just drop it in on the edge of the square again? It's a long ways out. He rises, he strikes, he keeps it in low trajectory. He's dropping into the square. Oh, a beautiful pull there, but Great save by somebody inside. It's not out of the danger yet. Jerry Welch has it. Jerry Welch is driving differently and lifting him, but somebody is as a melee of players there. And Kieran Wanman has it again. And it comes off the post. Oh dear. The save by the frame of the goal there, Carrick Swan. And it comes outside now to Mikey Costello. Costello is happy with the point, and he does flick it over the bar, much to the annoyance of the goalkeeper in there who felt that his defence should have been able to clear that. But Mikey Costello takes it and puts it over the bar, so it's now. One goal and nine points to one goal and six. Well, how fortunate. Carrick Swan were there that the ball wasn't in the net on two occasions. So, however, they have survived and there's Colm O'Sullivan pucks this one out, dropping in the six. Oh, great back down there. A further killer one, man. Good work there. And it, with Kevin, Kevin Quinlan now, the captain of the side, dropping it in there, 2-1-2. Two, two, and chances, what well, danger here now is Ray McLaughlin has it again. McLaughlin coming out to make an angle for himself, gets away from Martin Russell, pops it in, and a lovely piece of work there by Ray McLaughlin getting another point. So now it's, it's uh, one goal and ten points to one goal and six. After eight minutes of the second half, Colin O'Sullivan now to puck out this one again. And that he does, keeping it right down, but it's going to go as well. It took it on. It's now broken, fortunately, there for uh, Shane P. Ryan. Ryan, now ahead of the now towards O'Hannon. O'Hannon has it now. O'Hannon looking one way, didn't go in the other way. Fires it in right across the face of the goal. Oh, an absolutely beautiful point. Oh, an absolute peach there for O'Hannon. Reducing the deficit back to the, the single score again. It's 110 to 117. Jerk Harkren. We'll be doing duties again as soon as the ball is retrieved. Sir Cochran poking now. 
Pucking keeping it this side this time. We're going to drop now between Martin Russell there. Ball breaks and it comes to Seamus Sims. He kicks ahead there. He gets it towards he's uh, number number 12 there. There is uh, Shane Quinn and eventually it's with a, a wall of black shirts to Kevin Lanigan. Kevin Lanigan doesn't get a very long puck. It goes straight to Kevin Quinn and Quinn and for killer one. Looks at the post, strikes it in and he fires it to the right and wide. Well, it must go down as an opportunity. He was all alone. It's now, it still remains, 110 to 17, just a goal between the sides. After nine and a, nine and a half minutes, and the goalkeeper keeps it low this time, lets it out there to oh, it's Darren Fahey. Darren Fahey's help is a help there, he'll need it all. He gets it, short is clear and in over to pass the 60, pulled on there again by Darren Hassley. It comes to the goal score, Dwayne Fogarty, Fogarty ahead there, Kieran Reed. Reed is fouled there, and they might have been better off to let the player run, but however, uh, Kieran Reed was fouled, and it's going to be a chance to reduce the. The deficit to just two points. I'm sure Daniel Hannan will probably be the taker of this free. Hence, it's nearer still. Oh, Hannan standing over it now. Kitog style. Rises, strikes, and straight over the lats. It is reducing the deficit now to two points again. The Carrickmen still well in this game. 110 to 18. Just over 10 minutes gone in the second half. Jerk Horkran. There. Lovely dropping ball there between Seamus Hennessy and Darren Fahey. Neither of them get it flicked ahead there. It comes to Mach O'Leary. Lays it off quickly there towards Kevin Quinlan. Quinlan flicks it in quickly there. Goes off of Jerry Wells. Coming out is Ray McLaughlin. McLaughlin being tackled there by Jamie Sweetman. Half blocks down his puck there. It comes outside and is blocked by John Welsh. John Welsh there for Carrick Swan. Has his puck blocked down there by Mikey Costello. The ball goes out over the inline on that far side and it's going to be a line. It's going to be a puck out for. Uh, it's going to be a puck out for Carrick Swan. Now trying the hurley. Greasy, greasy ball, greasy sticks. Now Colum Sullivan, Colum O'Sullivan. It's plenty of lint into this one. Over towards the, the other Sullivan there, straight into his hand as well. Alan Sullivan being tackled there by Liam Gibson. Still gets in his puck. We out towards Daniel Hannan. Daniel Hannan be, about to be tackled there. Gets away from the full back there. Martin Welch coming out to make room for himself. Drops the ball in, and he's certainly making a difference since he, he went in there at full forward. It's another point, and we're down to the bare minimum. It's now 110 to 19. O'Hanlon giving Martin Welch a torrid time there now. <laughs> Jer Corcoran, Jer pucking out again. <laughs> it's almost 12 minutes gone in the second half as Jer Corcoran pucks out, goes away over to that far side there between Darren Fahey and Needham. John, John Grace tries to pick it up there, away as he has. See, he goes back to make room to swing his stick, gets it out towards Dwayne Fogarty there, Dear McCall, neither of them get it. McCall wins it at the second attempt, but his kick ahead goes astray, goes straight to Kieran Reed. Reed looks in the post, he fires it in, and it's gone over the bar, and the sides are level. Oh, great puck there by Kieran Reed from the way out on that far side on the 65 meter line, popping it over the bar for the equalizing score. And what a last quarter we're going to have now, as we're just over 12 minutes gone in the second half. Jer Corcoran. Jerk Hartland pucking out, keeping it this side this time, trying to get things going for his killer one. Mark O'Leary tries to get ahead there, has the ball knocked away from him there, and very close to the touchline, Kevin Lanigan. Kevin can't keep himself for the ball in play, and the ball goes out over the touchline, and that's downright in under us here, just out inside the Carrick Swan 65 metre line, and Seamus Hennessy will take this one. They need a bit of an injection now as I see a substitution lining up there getting ready to come on for the killer one then the referee is uh, having uh, is talking to his line and it looks as though Brian O'Mara it looks as though Brian O'Mara is coming on and I'm not too sure who's going off yes it looks it looks as though I think it may uh, Tom Williams, Tom Williams actually is going off the he's going off there, he's being replaced there, but anyway, getting things going right away now. Killer one trying to get Ray McLaughlin has his ball fired in, doesn't get it very very far, coming across the cover off there, Jerry Welch kicking it ahead there, kicking it out somewhere. He must play a bit of soccer. He's watching the Premiership or something. But anyway, he leaves the ball and eventually the ball goes to the ground. There's more like a scrum there now. As uh, Jamie Sweetman is there as well, trying to get it in. Killer one min min. Pat Williams there, but eventually it's with uh, Stephen Hazzy. Stephen Hazzy gets it out and it goes straight to the number eight there for Killer One. He's, uh, 
Seamus Hennessy Hennessy delivers a good ball dropping right into the square there a chance here for McAuley he pulls that right across the face of the goal oh 